Namaskar. I welcome you to this episode of Manovak with Guruji Naushir in which she is going to answer some very intriguing questions. Guruji, the question for today is what are the spiritual implications of physical infidelity and does it add to negative karma? Yeah, interesting topic. Uh, infidelity is uh, like a lump of clay. Now, you know, when you have a lump of clay, you can mold it, turn it, twist it and put it into whatever shape you want it. Mm. Infidelity is like that, you know. Uh, at different times, in different societies, in different cultures, in different eras, it is viewed differently. It's not uh, it's not always that it's looked down upon or considered something uh, 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 illegal or morally offensive. There were times in, in our history when uh, people could have more than one partner, very openly and, and, and yeah. accepted. Mm -hmm. So it's like a lump of clay, you know, the way you mold it, 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 it appears in that form. So yes, we are living in an era when <coughs> uh, monogamy is the uh, rule of the day mm. and uh, having more than one partner is considered as infidelity. Now, you see the whole <laughs> uh, funny part of it is that uh, human beings by instinct and when I say by instinct, I mean this is an instinct we share with animals. By instinct, we are polygamous. By instinct. Okay. You will see that animals will mate with many, many partners. Right. There is no fidelity in that. Right. Humans are the same by instinct, but we choose to be monogamous hmm. for whatever reason. Because we are intelligent, we, we have choice, we have wisdom, mm -hmm. we have discrimination. So, uh, uh, monogamy is always a, a choice and it is a, it is a discipline. So, when you practice having only one partner, it is, it is a, 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 a kind of a conscious choice that you make. By instinct, you are not that. Human beings are not that, okay. but they choose to be that. Hmm. Now, if you say, uh, uh, how does, how does uh, I mean, is there any spiritual implication to it? See, spiritual implication comes in only when you hurt or harm another person intentionally. So if you go outside your partnership with one person, whether married or not, marriage is just a certificate, but assuming you have a partner and you choose a third person. If you are doing it with an intent to hurt the first partner, then yes, there are karmic implications because then you are incurring karma. Just the knowledge that it will hurt that other person is not karma, does not in, uh, add to karma. But if you do it with the specific intention of hurting that person, yes, then definitely there are karmic implications and there is karma. There is negative karma associated with infidelity. Otherwise, spirit doesn't judge you. And uh, 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 monogamy in marriage is a mere legal uh, uh, fiction. You know, it is it is it is enforced by law. In nature or in spirit, there is nothing like uh, uh, one partner only. You know, that is that is as I said, it's it's. Uh, a forced discipline that you choose to follow with your choice. Okay. It's like that. So in this my second question is then what is your view on emotional infidelity where a married person, male or female, develops a very strong emotional bond with a third person without disturbing their marriage. This new relationship continues under the veil of best friends. Is it infidelity or not? <laughs> Okay, now, you know, uh, uh, very characteristically you can uh, differentiate infidelity in three, uh, uh, three parts. Okay. 
One is mental, one is emotional and one is physical. When I say mental infidelity, I think 99% of population is mentally unfaithful. I doubt if there is a human being on earth who has not mentally for even a few moments thought of uh, uh, or, or been attracted to someone other than the partner. But that is a mental thing. It comes in your mind and it goes away. So that is also mental infidelity if you if you are so strict by the definition of infidelity. And I think 99% of the population would fall under that because at some point in time you think of somebody else. You don't do anything about it. It's just a thought. Hmm. It comes and goes. Right. And I can tell you a lot of people, and this, these people have confessed to me also, that even when they are actually making love to their married partners or life partners, whether married or not, they always fantasize about a third person. You know, So that is, now what can you do about it? It's, it's, it's natural. It's normal. I mean, it's, it's the... Uh, polygamous nature of instinct of a human being which we share with animals. No, we can't do anything about that. So that is one kind of uh, infidelity which I don't think can really put into infid infidelity because that every human being would come into that. Okay. Emotional infidelity, what you are talking about is where you are strongly attracted to another person though you do not lift a finger to get physically active with that person. Yeah. But under the guise of friendship or bond or bonding or whatever it is, you get close to that person. Now, A, if you do not uh, do that with the intention to harm your partner or you are doing it with a clear conscience and not with any uh, agenda other than your satisfaction or your mental relaxation, I think there's nothing wrong with it and... Uh, I won't even categorize that infidelity, but yes, it only has the potential to get into physical infidelity and uh, or I would say rather into a physical affair. Mm. So that sword is always hanging. When you are emotionally bonding with a person very closely, mm. that you cross that line very easily. Mm. So if you are aware and if you are conscious about it and you are alert about it and don't cross that line. I don't think there is anything uh, 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 so wrong or uh, uh, anything negative about it. And as long as you are not inflicting any pain or uh, suffering on the other person intentionally or trying to, you know, uh, put the other person down. So if it's out of your sheer attraction for that third person, then I think uh, there's nothing wrong with it. As I said, but you have to be very conscious not to cross the physical line because it's very easy to do that. You can hmm. fall for that. But in this, isn't it part of the commitment to the partner that uh, I'm talking about emotional and physical here? Okay, yes. we'll keep yes. mental aside for the time being because it's the least harm. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, and you, it you can't control harm. it. Yeah, and you, you can't, can't control it. So, isn't it part of the commitment that I will not look outside you? Um, yes, it, it is. But you see that again, so as I said. So, you are that uh, <laughs> commitment. I know. Uh, you, but again, the commitment itself is out of sync with human nature. Because by nature, human beings are gregarious, polygamous uh, people. And, 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 and you seek company other than the one mate that you have. So to put that kind of a strict restriction is itself a, a, a highly a controlling factor. So yes, in, in our day and age, we do have that. That is part of the vows that you take when you get married or whatever it is, you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, as, as far as being morally offensive, no, if you, if you kind of maintain uh, the line of crossing into an outright physical affair. Hmm. I don't think it should be such a big problem. I mean, loving a person for who that person is or what that person, the, the happiness that person brings you, I think that should not be denied to anybody. Hmm. So, so, no karmic implications? No karmic implications, no. Unless you do even that to hurt your 
married partner or the life partner that you have even if it's unintentional hurt if it's yeah even if it's unintentional hurt but no it it, it that person may get hurt but the hurt has to be caused intentionally mm. like you know i want to take revenge on him or i want to take revenge on her he or she mistreats me okay i'll go out of my marriage and let him suffer or let her suffer yeah. that has karmic implications you know that way fine thank you guruji <laughs> okay thank you. thank you for joining us in this episode see you next time soon